Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I am going to explain Crossing the Bar written by Alfred Lord Tennyson who was the most renowned poet of the Victorian era. Tennyson wrote Crossing the Bar in 1889, three years before he died. Tennyson uses the metaphor of a sand bar. Definition of metaphor? Kindly check the description box because there is a video completely dedicated to the figure of speech or poetic devices used in the literary pieces. What is a sandbar? It is a ridge of sand built up by currents along a shore. And what is the significance of the sandbar in the poem? It describes the barrier between life and death. As the speaker nears the end of his life, he is sure that he will meet his maker upon his death. This is the crux of the poem. And we will see the themes of finality of death, transience of life and role of God. Maker is God. Crossing the bar stanza 1. Sunset and evening star and one clear call for me and may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea. The poet or the speaker notices the sunset and evening star in the sky. The poem Crossing the Park opens with a metaphorical image. Sunset is a metaphor, evening is a metaphor. Sunset and evening star show that the day is coming to an end, but the symbolic significance is something is coming to an end and what is coming to an end? It is the life of the poet which is coming to an end. In this poem, the poet is anticipating his death. Sunset, the sun has set and evening star is the planet Venus. The figure of speech used here is alliteration. Sunset begins with an S and star also begins with an S. And this is an example of visual imagery. Keep this in mind, visual imagery. Now, the next line. And one clear call for me. The word call is a marine term, a nautical reference and there are other nautical references as well. Here the word call foreshadows the role that God will play later in the poem and also the idea of a Christian afterlife. Clear call, unmistakable call. The poet hears a loud and clear call and this is highlighted by the use of the punctuation mark exclamation. Clear call is an example of alliteration. Clear begins with C and call also begins with C. What is the significance of this expression? One clear call for me. Well, the symbolic significance is it shows the impending death of the, the impending announcement of the poet's departure from the present to the Next, it also highlights the journey motive, journey of the soul after death to the unknown world, its home from where it came to this world. And may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea. The poet hopes that the sandbar will not be disturbed when he goes out to sea. Put out to sea. The meaning is when he dies, when he wants to put out to sea, he does not want any moaning of the bar. He wants to die without pain. He wants a smooth, quiet, near seamless transition. He does not want any mourning as we will see later in the poem. And now the expression Moaning of the bar is an example of auditory imagery. Clear call is also an example of auditory imagery. The sandbar is a barrier that the ship will have to cross when sailing out to sea. And this barrier symbolizes impediments both internal and external that 
he has to overcome to journey into death. Alfred Lord Tennyson uses the metaphor of crossing a sandbar to represent death in crossing the bar. If the sandbar is a symbol of death with the water inside representing his life, the water beyond represents the afterlife, a heavenly afterlife. Stanza 2 But such a tide as moving seems asleep, too full for sound and foam, when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home. The poet does not want to disturb the sandbar. Instead, he wants to be carried out on a tide. Tide, another nautical reference. He wants to be carried out on a tide, moving slowly as it seems almost asleep and which is too swollen to make a sound or create a wash. The figure of speech used here, too full for sound and foam, is alliteration, full foam. What does the expression boundless deep symbolize? Unknown eternity and the phrase turns again home shows waves originating from the boundless ocean, briefly touching the shore only to return again to the depths of eternity the journey motive once again journey of the soul the soul comes to the earth and then it performs its role it passes that allotted period of time and then it again returns to the depths of unknown eternity next twilight and evening bell and after that dark and may there be no sadness or farewell when I embark. Twilight and evening bell replaces sunset and evening star. Twilight is an example of visual imagery and evening bell is an example of auditory imagery. What is the significance of twilight? Twilight comes with the evening bell which will be followed by darkness. Here the expression evening bell is symbolic of knell that is the death bell. Remember this evening bell knell associated with death. Knell which is sounded when someone dies. And the expression twilight and evening bell has replaced as discussed sunset and evening star. And after that the dark. What does this dark stand for? Dark stands for death. Sunset and evening star announces the arrival of night and also announces that the day is coming to an end symbolically meaning that the poet will die. And in this case the word dark stands for death. So which word does not symbolize old age here? Sunset, old age, twilight, old age, but dark stands for what? Yes, dark stands for death. The poet emphasizes that there must not be any sadness, mourning, sad goodbyes. Where will the ship of his soul return after it is dark, that is, after he dies? to the infinity. The evening bell announces the advent of darkness, the imminence of death, the finality of death. When I embark, what is the poet doing? The poet is anticipating his death. The poet has accepted his reality. And what are the realities? Inevitability of death ephemerality of life on earth, eternity of soul and as you will see in the last stanza, God as his solace. Here the poet has adopted an optimistic approach, a positive attitude. He wants a painless death, a quiet and near seamless transition but he is not scared of death. The tone of the poem is filled with this tranquil optimism 
and this optimism will again be highlighted in the last stanza as well. Let us read the last stanza also and analyze. So twilight comes with the evening bell which will be followed by darkness and there won't be any need for anybody to mourn over the death of the poet. For though from out our bone of time and place the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. So the meaning of flood is death. What will carry him away from this world, from his earthly existence to a spiritual realm? It will be the flood, a metaphor for death. For though from out are born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. So this highlights the poet's belief in the afterlife. Hope. The word hope is very significant because it stands for the poet's optimistic attitude. The poem ends on an optimistic note, a positive note. And the word pilot is equally important. Pilot is a direct reference to God, to the Christian God. And uh, the poet uh, ends on a positive note as I told you and which of the following lines justify this? The poet has accepted the finality of death. The poet is hoping to meet God in afterlife, coming face to face with his pilot. Face to face an alliterative expression, God as his solace and the poet has already prepared himself for his death. Understood? Now, when I have crossed the bar, when I have died, the poet looks forward to the journey from the earthly to the spiritual realm. Death brings with it a new kind of knowledge and experience which is not available to the living. Death leads to a reunion with God. So these points are very very important. Now, what kind of a poem is crossing the bar? It is an elegy and it is a lyric. And I have already discussed the themes in a separate video. Kindly check the description box for the discussion on themes. I have also uploaded a video where you will get many multiple choice questions on crossing the bar. Well, I would like to end this video by discussing about the rhyme scheme. The rhyme scheme is A, B, A, B and I will show you how to find out the rhyme scheme. In this poem, the first line rhymes with the third line and the second line rhymes with the fourth line. Star rhymes with bar. So the rhyming scheme is A. Here I will also use A. Me rhymes with C. A, B, A, B. In the second stanza also, the first line rhymes with the third line. Let me just use A, A for it. And the second line rhymes with the fourth line, B, B. What is the rhyme scheme? A, B, A, B. In the third stanza, bell rhymes with farewell, dark rhymes with embark. And the meaning of the word embark is start a journey, put out to sea. And what kind of a journey is this? This is a very fruitful journey. He will reach afterlife once he makes the transition. Place rhymes with face and far rhymes with bar. Now my dear boys and girls, kindly watch the entire video. And if you have liked this video, just like the video, share the video and drop in a comment. And if you have any doubt, you can also write to me and if you have come across any other relevant point, mention that in the comment section so that we can all learn from you. This is a platform for group study. So all the best and bye.